Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to start off with our fourth weekly video regarding individuals and societies. As we're going to analyze the effects of globalization on global brands, and we're going to create at the end mind maps on the effects of globalization on global trade. Now we're going to move on to the key concept vocabulary words that are going to be highlighted. So we're going to start off with basically mind mapping worldwide, negative trade, global brands, TNCs, and even timeline. So we're going to study actually the timeline through highlighting the industrial revolution. As we're going to highlight actually the word timeline by creating an industrialization outline. So students are going to have certain inventions and they're going to create like timeline entries on sticky notes. Each entry should actually include the date of the event that happened or the invention and even the brief kind of destruction of the invention or the innovation. And they're going to study actually at the end how did these innovations change the way people lived and even worked. As we're going to highlight the age of industrialization uh, with global brands, with the appearance of a lot of global brands and uh, globalization, so ineffective globalization. And we're going to link actually these global brands to, um, you know, a very, uh, you know, key term concept that is called transitional corporations or TNCs that are basically large multinational businesses that operate and conduct commercial activities in multiple countries. Now, TNCs, generally speaking, have a significant global presence and often they have branches and operations in various nations, like the ones that we have here in pictures like Starbucks, Coca-Cola, we have Nike. Adidas, for example. So all of them basically are considered as global brands uh, due to, to basically the presence of globalization. Because we're going to highlight a lot of questions. So like, what are the primary drivers of globalization and how have they evolved over time? And how does globalization actually impact income inequality both within and between countries? So we're gonna think actually and link these questions to a lot of key concepts like, change we're going to talk about labor labor availability we're going to talk about trading communication uh, businesses global brands in relation to uh, the pros and cons of globalization and now we're going to study deeply these pictures we're going to look at um pictures as you can see we're going to link them to labor availability migration um globalization industrialization at the same time we're going to see the risk the threats the weaknesses at the same time and we're going to answer that question which is can transition corporations and tncs be held accountable for labor exploitation and poor working conditions in their supply change even if the violation occur in different basically countries what do you think we summarize the lesson and mind map all the key basically terms of the lesson we're gonna uh, move on to our conclusion which is what are the long-term consequences of labor basically outsourcing by transitional corporations on the skill level and career perspectives of workers in both developed and developing nations as a conclusion of our lesson don't forget that actually tncs and globalization had uh, has had a profound effect on labor leading to both pros and cons um and again whenever we think about globalization and and uh tncs we think about labor and job opportunities we think about outsourcing and wage disparities we think about label basically standards and uh, informal labor at the same time and don't forget that inclusion the effects of globalization on labor are complex and multi faced it so while it has created opportunities and uh, outstanding you know positive sides of economic growth it has also raised challenges related to job displacement wage disparities and labor basically rights 